What's up guys, it's Wilson, also known as Design by Will, and in today's video, it's going to be an easy one. We're going to be designing a graphic button up for summertime, um, and the only change to this, to the other designs that I've done, is the mock-up. So we're just placing it onto a mock-up. In context, it would be an all-over print. If you were to do this, that's what they would call it, in case you want to go to your manufacturer. It's an all-over print design. But the one thing that I did get wrong with this is I designed just for a primary area and then I placed the mock-up into certain sections and then that's what you would send over to your manufacturer. But yeah, the first thing you guys want to do is just get your designs into your computer, whether that's scanning or taking a photo or even airdrop, just get them into your computer and onto Photoshop. Load everything in because it's just good to have inspiration. Um, and the first thing we're going to want to do is just cut out our designs and get them cleaned up a little bit. The overall aesthetic we're going for in terms of this design is the cactus plant flea market type design or the fragment design where it looks unfinished but it's completed. So you got like a clean marker type look to the design where everything is like flat, there's no shadows or anything. The design is very much old style comic book. Um, like hot stuff which I have to the right of me in my notion board Now to cut out the black part because it has such high contrast I'm gonna be using the quick selection tool. It's the easiest way to do this I wouldn't recommend this if you have a lined paper or something like that I would go in with the pen tool and then get the pen tool and then use that as a selection But if you got high contrast on a white background um, It's very easy to just use the quick selection tool Press Q and mask it off and go in with a black brush and just clean it up so it looks cleaner on the edges. Like I said before, I didn't end up using this. I just scrapped it and redraw the whole thing within Photoshop. So there was no point. After we've got our design or sketch cleaned up, we're just going to go in with a brush tool on a new layer. So create a new layer and then just grab a regular brush tool as the basic one. And I'm going to turn the smoothing all the way up to around 70 or 100. And then we're just going to clean up these flames by redrawing new flames in. Like I said before, I end up just redrawing this, but I just wanted to show you guys the process of cleaning up like a sketch for a design and getting that ready. And essentially, this is our custom typeface that um, I don't think it really fit into the design. I am going to use this typeface in another area throughout, but this is how I got to this face. It was honestly just cutting it out using the selection tool and then cleaning it up by redrawing in some flames. I did have this other type here, but I ended up just scrapping it entirely just because I didn't like the aesthetic of it. It wasn't really working. Um, and then I went into starting... Um, to illustrate this sketch that I had here. Now, the main tools I'm going to be using is just symmetry. Um, the smoothing, I'm going to turn all the way up to 100. And also, that's basically going to be it. Just smoothing and symmetry to draw the car in. But yeah. So, the symmetry tool is that little butterfly tool um, at the very top right next to the accuracy pointer or whatever it's called in Photoshop. And I just aligned it with what I thought was the middle of the car. Um, I ended up being wrong, which made the car look a little bit warped, but I don't really care. That's the whole aesthetic of this type of design. The fact that you don't really care. It's like a lot of effort for something that looks like it has zero effort, which is a lot of art at the moment. You wouldn't think people would spend like a lot of time doing something until you look at the process behind it and you're like, oh, this was five different sketches. Well, this wasn't five different sketches. I just wanted to show you guys this process. And you can see me here just going back and forth, pressing Command Z, Command Z, Command Z. This is why when I do hand drawn or like drawn stuff, it does tend to um, up the rates a little bit more because this takes a lot of time. And a lot of mental power just sitting there and coloring stuff in is the most like i don't know why people enjoy coloring coloring for me is is death but yeah so you can see this is how 
quick the lines go when I'm actually drawing them in. But now I'm just gonna fast forward the process. Like I said before, I have the symmetry tool on, so it's copying whatever I draw on the car on the side to the other side, um, and we can see it here. But yeah. So after we've got that all drawn in, we're just gonna go ahead and grab the final element, which was this custom um, typeface that says I'm still working. As you guys know, the slogan for revision is I'm still working on myself because that's what a revision is. It's a continuous process and design, and that's a whole aesthetic. Now this car looks kind of cool. Like <laughs> I might just delete the people and just use the car in a future design because I'm not really feeling the end of this this design. This design was just an experiment for me personally. And just to show you guys how to get that look where stuff is hand drawn um, and that whole aesthetic. And mainly this can all be done in Photoshop and I haven't done a Photoshop only tutorial in a long while. So this was for you Photoshop warriors out there. So yeah.
we got everything colored in it's time to get that vintage look so the first thing we're going to want to do is just grab a photoshop copy scan type texture and put it in there now this one is from texture labs unfortunately i do not remember the names or where i got these from exactly but it was one of the videos that i was watching um and texture labs has this up for free like the whole pack which is super sick um and also we're going to be using another texture it's called texture labs underscore grunge underscore 265 l and that's going to be the most important one because it gives the whole um dotted look for the design and i highly recommend that because it's the highest resolution you can make it in photoshop using um i forgot what it's called it's called i don't know i forgot what it's called but yeah just grab the texture it's free um but yeah once you got those two textures, you're going to want to select the top one, the texture labs, the important one and set it to soft light. And the one underneath that is going to be the photocopy um, texture. And you can either set that one to overlay or any of the other ones that make it look a little bit washed. And that's totally up to preference and color. And also you can play with your opacity and other stuff to see which look fits you best. I found that either overlay or soft light worked the best in terms of this design. But yeah. I think overall I ended up using overlay instead of soft light, but soft light works really well too. Um, and yeah, I'm just grabbing the initial revision um, type that we hand drew um, and then we redrew into Photoshop um, and just placing that down and seeing where it fits best. Like any good designer, after we've got the design finished, in quotation marks, you want to add more stuff to it. So I end up just um, right clicking, going into blending options on the folder and just adding this stroke because the stroke makes it look more drawn comic book-esque. And yeah, that was the final touches to the design. Now we're going to export it as a PNG and then put it into Illustrator onto the mockups. So there's nothing too crazy going on with the export settings. It's just set to PNG. Um, the color is on RGB mode. I know you're meant to work in TMYK to see the true nature of your colors, but I don't really care, honestly. So I'm just working in RGB and I'm just gonna drag and drop this into the tech pack. Um, make sure you're holding shift on Mac while you're scaling stuff so it doesn't warp it. Um, and yeah. Now that I have that done, all I'm going to do is I'm going to get the layer of the design and drag it underneath the layer of the lines of the t-shirt to make it look like obviously it's within the mock-up and then that way I can just play with the colors. I ended up making a duplicate of that layer to make the clipping mask and I'm not going to skip this part. I just um, want to wish I just want to show you guys the process So what I did so after we've done that um we're just going to repeat the process onto the back of the t-shirt noted it's the exact same process you make a duplicate of the color layer you get the design you put it underneath the duplicate you click both the design and the duplicate of the color layer right click press clipping mask or go up to the help section which is amazing in illustrator and just type clipping mask and it'll come up with a bunch of options and then click the clipping mask make same exact thing it's better than looking for it within illustrator itself so the design overall grew on me for some reason i really love how the design looks now that i'm editing this video so overall, I would give this design a solid 7 out of 10. I wouldn't say it's a 10 out of 10 because there's a lot that needs to be fixing, but yeah. Once that's done, the design is finished. Now I'm going to be making this sort of tech pack because I'm prepping these designs for print, obviously, for my personal brand revision. Now on the talking point of revision, the hats are finally dropping. I know a lot of you guys have been DMing me, asking me when the hats are dropping and the hats are dropping on the 28th of July. Make sure you guys go and follow the revision page for more updates. And we are having a giveaway there where we're gonna give away a hat completely for free. All you gotta do is just comment on the processes giveaway to enter yourself. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, and I hope you guys learn something new. I always like to teach people new. I am planning on dropping that luxury video 
for Strua brand and it is coming very soon but as you guys know those videos take a little bit more time because there's a little bit more pieces and you want to make everything coherent which gets a little bit more complicated because you're not just designing a single shirt um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you guys when I see you peace